Hello lovely and welcome back to The Makeup Hunter. If you haven't met me before, hello, my name is Laura. Thank you so much for joining me today and for spending a little bit of your day with me. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a very long overdue Shop My Stash. Um, I have been doing these off camera regularly. Um, I think it's the perfect way to rotate through your makeup if you have a larger collection like mine. It helps me make sure that nothing is getting super neglected, that I'm getting um, to know my collection really well. And it also helps me declutter things through a process of using them. So, if you like Shop My Stash content, uh, collection videos, um, Get Ready With Me's and haul videos, then please do um, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like what you see, then give me a like and leave me a comment in the comment section. I love chatting to you in the comment section. And without further ado, let's have a little look in my makeup collection and pick out some nice products to use for the next month or so. Okay, so the things in this basket I am actually going to be keeping in. Um, there's a couple of things that I always keep in regardless um, and then there's other things that I feel like I haven't had enough time with. Um, either they are fairly new to my collection and I haven't tried them enough yet or when I pulled them into my shop my stash I didn't use them as much as I'd hoped to. So the things that always stay in are my Inglot face palette. This has contour powders, a blush, a highlight and a setting powder and I always keep this in because I absolutely love all of the products that are in here and this is something that I tend to use if I'm going out out um, because I don't sort of contour on a day-to-day -day basis and this just fits nice in my drawer. Another thing that stays in all the time is my Australian Gold Tinted Sunscreen. Um, I use this um, if I'm going for sort of a no makeup makeup. Um, I'll wear this on its own with a bit of concealer and a bit of mascara and brow product. Um, if I'm going to be going out and putting a full face of makeup on then I'll tend to wear a sunscreen that's not tinted which I keep with my skincare on my desk there so yeah so this one's staying in and then another one that always stays in is my I Heart Revolution Honey Brow Jam this is my absolute favourite brow product I have two here and I have two at the van and I've got like um one open and one unopened as a backup these are just um, spoolies that i use with it then these are products that i haven't got to know well enough um or i pulled them into my shop my stash and i didn't use them enough namely the rare beauty tinted moisturizer i only actually used this once while it was in my shop my stash and i absolutely love it it's perfect for this time of year so i want to keep this one out and get some more use out of it and then the rest of the stuff in here is not new because i haven't sort of made any um purchases that aren't for the caravan for a while um that's an order I did with Be Perfect. I got a couple of powders off TikTok shop. And then this is one that I bought when I was buying things for the caravan. Um, but I decided to keep it here. So the Be Perfect Chroma Cover Foundation. This is the luminous version. This is something that I would wear if I was going out for the evening. It's a bit more full coverage than I like for day to day. So this one I may perhaps use once or twice while it's in the shop my stash, but I do like to keep a foundation that is on the higher coverage side of things for if I need it. So that one will stay. 
And then also staying is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. I've got mine in the shade 5 and I've only used this once or twice but it is become a sort of fast favourite. I absolutely loved how it looked and how it wore. So I'm not sure that I'll actually pull another foundation in. If I do, I'll perhaps just pull one, one in that's kind of um, an in-between the like skin tints and the chrome recover. Then for primer, I'm keeping in the Be Perfect Perfecting Primer. This is in Champagne Glow. I, again, have only used this once um, since I've had it and I haven't had it all that long so I want to get to know it a little bit better and um, the one time that I did use it I really really liked it really enjoyed it so keeping that I'm also keeping in the Be Perfect Bronze Boost medium bronze um, face like bronzing drops um, instant tan basically um, I haven't tried this yet I haven't had the occasion to actually wear it so I'll be keeping that one in and then I've got, also from Be Perfect, the Ekin Su. Um, this is the Radiant Glow Luminous Multi-Use Skin Perfector. This is sort of a similar product to um, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, the Elf Halo Glow, the Collection um, Filter Finish. Again, I've only used this one twice since I got it and I haven't had it all that long. Um, absolutely divine product, so beautiful on the skin and I want to get some more use out of it before I put it back into my main collection. And then I have three of the new pressed powders from HMB Cosmetics. This is Holly Boone's range. I got three in the shades Pink, Fair and Extra Brightening. The Extra Brightening is white. The pink is obviously pink and the fair is like a very light um, skin tone shade, almost translucent um i've used the extra brightening and the fair as you can see um but i haven't used the pink yet and i have only used these twice so again i want to get more use out of them and try the pink powder i'm probably only going to pull one loose powder um when i do the you know pull the rest of the products because i want to really get to know these products so that's all that i'm going to be keeping in now we'll go to the main collection and pick the products from there okay so i've just got fill got done filming my um entire blush bronzer and highlight collection videos um and because this is so heavy and so awkward to move i thought i would pull my products from my shop my stash whilst it's out on the bed and all separated and also it's fresh in my mind what i have in here so let's start with creams so the first product that i'm going to pull from this area is my cream contour from danessa myricks this is a beautiful gel consistency it's a really good color for me and it's one that i haven't used as much as i have like would have liked to so i'm definitely going to pull that one um, this time around I'm trying not to pull as much as I do normally um, so that I get sort of a good amount of time with each product rather than pull a ton in and only be able to use like them once or twice. So for cream blush I'm going to pick my Huda Beauty. Um, this is the cheeky tint blush stick in the shade coral cutie again this is one that i haven't used as much as i would like but this beautiful bright coral shade is beautiful for this time of year so i'm going to take that one and then i'm going to take one or two more cream blushes and then um, a couple of cream highlighters so another cream blush that i want to take is one of my melt blush lights but i want to take the shade lynx so it's this one here which is like a beautiful um radiant bronze tone um but it does look quite peachy and like warm on the cheeks and again i think this is perfect for this time of year 
and then one more um, cream blush I'm going to take one of my beauty pie blushes and I'm going to take the pink shade in the shade universal pink so I've got a pink a peach and a more bronzy and then for highlighters for cream highlighters I'm going to take my golden whirl triple luminizer from beauty pie this is a lovely champagne like gel highlighter so i'm going to take that one and then i'm also going to take um my mac cream color base in the shade seaside so those are the cream products that i'm going to be taking okay and now for powder products so for a powder bronzer i am going to hmm, i think i want to take my fenty in the shade in the sun if i can get a hold of it yes yeah, so this is the fenty matte bronzer in the shade in the sun and i think that will be lovely to use at this time of year because it's more of a warm sort of toasty tone and then i do want something with a little bit of um radiance to it so i think i'm going to take um I'm going to take my glowish bronzer. So this is, if it'll focus, this is the glowish powder bronzer in the shade to medium. So I'm also going to take that one. Now for powder blushes, um, I want to sort of keep in mind the creams that I've taken. So I want like a nice coral, more of a bronzy and then a nice like pinky tone. So for a nice coral toned blush, um, I think I'm going to take one of the Hello Kitty blushes um i think it's no i don't think it's that one i think it's aloha honey that i'm thinking of yeah so i'm going to take this hello kitty blush in the shade aloha honey for my coral and then for a nice pinky tone i'm going to take one of my mac blushes um oh that one i'll do so i'm going to take the shade stay pretty and then for a more bronzy toned blush um i think i'm going to take one of my pat mcgrath ones i want the limited edition one yeah this one in the shade nude venus 2 so this isn't so much bronzy but it is um it's a nice nude blusher that sort of will work with any kind of look um and i think that will work really nice over the top of that melt blush light in the shade lynx and then for a powder highlight i think i'm only going to take one powder highlight um and i think the one that i'm going to take this time round is yeah mac soft and gentle i haven't used this for a while and i've had it for a very long time and it definitely deserves a little bit more love so that is all i'm going to take out of this drawer okay so out of this drawer i don't really need to pull much because i've kept a few items back um what i do need out of here is concealer a loose powder and one more foundation products and a primer that's more pore blurring um so foundation i'm going to take 
my It Cosmetics CC Cream. This is one that I'm sort of trying to get moved out of my collection. So I'm trying to use it as much as possible. For a more pore blurring primer, I'm going to take the Revolution IRL Skin Filter. I have yet to try this one yet. And then for concealer, I'm going to take one of my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealers. And then I also want my Flower Beauty, as this one is a little bit darker. So these two together will work really nicely. And then a loose powder. Um, one that I haven't used yet, that I've had for a long time, is the Fenty powder. So this is a mini Fenty loose powder in the shade Butter. So I'm going to take those. Okay, and for eyeshadow palettes, I've already got three out that I've kept out from last time. Um, two custom palettes and an all matte palette from Glam Shop. So I only want to pull three um, palettes and I know I definitely want to pick a Colourpop palette as I really don't give these enough love. And I know the one I want. Um, obviously we haven't got much of summer left and I haven't used this one yet. So this is the Limoncello palette from Colourpop. So I'm definitely pulling that one. Um, and then... I think... I'm also going to take, what do I want? I think I'm gonna take the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And then one more. I'm going to take my ABH Soft Glam as I haven't used this for an age. So that's all the palettes that I'm going to take. And then I don't usually do this, but I do want to pull a couple of lip products because what I'm finding is that I'm not going into these drawers. I'm just using like my lip crowns and lip glosses that are in my everyday makeup drawer. So I am going to take a couple of lip products. Um, so thinking of the palettes that I've got, I want some nice nudes and something more pink so I think I'm going to take one of my Vive lipsticks yeah so I'm going to take the shade 90s from Vive and then for a pink I'm going to take one of my Dior lipsticks. Um, I think this might be too deep, a pink. Yeah, that's a bit too deep. I'm 
going to take this shade OC from Dior. And then I want something more coral toned. Um, and then perhaps a nice vibrant lipstick. Um, so for um, a nice coral tone, um, let's have a look at my Max. These are my newer MAC ones, the ones that are sitting on top. Right, I think I'm going to go for... Oh no, that's pink. That's not the one I wanted. maybe we'll go for Lady Danger that could be a fun one to use and then I also want to take one of my newer MAC lipsticks in the more bright pinky tones um, so I've got the shade Do Not Disturb Um, no photos, which is a luster. Oh, I think we'll go for that one. No photos. And then I think another nude. Um, I think I want one of my Colourpop lipsticks. Yeah, let's just go for this first one I picked up. So this is the shade Kate. This is one of the velvet look, sorry, looks blur lipsticks. So that's all I'm gonna take for lip products. And that gives me a few nice different options. Okay, and this is the last draw that I'm actually going to pick from. Um this is where I keep my mini Natasha Denona palettes, single shadows. I've got some Fenty highlights back there and here that I use as um, eyeshadows because they're so super sparkly. And obviously my Super Shocks and some MAC singles. So I always like to pull one of my... Revlon or Maybelline cream shadows because I use these as um, like an eyeshadow base and the one that I think I'm going to take this time round is Revlon 710 Caramel and then I would also like to pull um, a couple of super shocks and maybe um, a single shadow. So let's have a look at these super shocks. Um, I've got quite a lot of um, neutrals and warm toned eyeshadows. Um, you know, getting the last out of summer. Um, I think I picked that one recently. I really neglect my Super Shocks, so I do try to pick them when I can. So I'm going to take this one, the shade La Mesa, which is a nice like champagne -y gold. If I'm in a rush, I can also just run one of these across my lid and be done. Um, I pulled these two from the um, like Art Deco collection. They did one Christmas. I've pulled them quite a few times. Um, I think, no, I 
I'll save that for like autumn time. Hmm, I don't know what I want. Maybe this gold um, in the shade Six Cents could work. Or this lovely bronze in the shade Let Me Pass. I think I'll go for Let Me Pass. No, I won't, because <laughs> I think that's more of an uh, autumnal colour. So let me just double double check through. Mm, I haven't used this nice peachy one called Sweet Tea, so I'll go for that one. And um, for a single shadow, um, a lot of these are more like wintry kind of tones. Um, I think. I don't think I'm going to pick a single shadow. Um, no, I'm not going to pick a single shadow, but I think I will take one of my mini um, Natasha Denona palettes. And I think the one that I would like to try, um, because I haven't used it yet, is the mini Bieber. And I think that's a lovely, like, end of summer into autumn colour story so we'll go for that one okay so the products that are in the tray are the products that i decided to keep in that i showed you at the beginning and then i have my little shopping basket of new products to try um, well, not new products, you know, uh, new rotations worth of products. So I'm going to start putting things away into here and then I'll do um, a few swatches. Okay, and here are the blushes. So the top one is the Hello Kitty Colourpop blush in the shade Aloha Honey. I've got Pat McGrath Nude Venus 2. Um, I have um, MAC, I've forgotten which one it is already, Stay Pretty. Then the three bottom ones are the cream blushes. So I have the Huda Beauty um, Coral Cutie Blush Stick. Then I have Melt Lynx and Beauty Pie Universal Pink. And I think I did a pretty good job of you know picking pairs of blushes i think these will look beautiful together and they'll also look really pretty on their own okay and these are my highlight swatches so this one is the beauty pie triple luminizer this is the mac cream color base in the shade seaside and this is mac soft and gentle so the two creams and the powder okay and these are the eyeshadow palettes that i'm going to have in rotation so this first one is a lethal cosmetics palette that i made a while ago from my collection of lethal singles and I haven't used it enough yet same for this palette of a mixture of my single shadows um, I created it uh, about a month or so ago and I haven't used it enough so I've kept that in and I also have kept in my um, glam shop um, nude matte palette um, I have two fully matte nude palettes that i am going to try and rotate each month so that i've always got a palette available that i can do a simple or matte look with like a super shock across the lids um, this is my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Um, I've had this for a very long time and I haven't, well, I have used it. You can see it's been used, but I haven't used it as much as I should. And I think this will be beautiful for the um, late summer into autumn looks. 
Then I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and my Colourpop Limoncello Palette, which I haven't used yet. Another one that I haven't used yet is, obviously, you saw me picking this one. This is my Natasha Denona Mini Bieber Palette, which I just stuck my thumb in. Um, but I thought that would be nice to create some simple looks and then i'll swatch both of the super shocks that i've picked and my lipsticks there's my palettes they all fit perfectly in their little and holder here are my super shock shadows swatched i'm absolutely obsessed with that first one and how reflective it is that one is the shade la mesa and then the peachy one is the shade sweet tea and i've just got an idea to use that with the mini bieber palette i think that would look absolutely stunning and here are swatches of my lipsticks so the top one is vive 90s then we have dior oc um lady danger from mac um i think it's no photos from yeah no photos from mac which is one of the new Luster Glass formulas. And then this one is the Colourpop um, Lux Blur lipstick in the shade Kate. So I've got a nice brown nude, a pinky nude, a very blue toned pink, a bright red orange, and then a more corally pink. So I'm really excited to create some looks with all of my products. Um, this is how they will fit in my drawer. This goes obviously on the top and then this inside my drawer. And I'm just going to pop the lipsticks on the top. And yeah, I'm really excited for the looks that I'm going to create with this month's Shop My Stash products. As usual, it may be in a little bit longer than a month. It may be two months. I'll just get round to my next one when I get round to it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed seeing a Shop My Stash as I haven't done one for such a long time. I have been doing them, but just on my own off camera. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next video lovely thank you bye